All right, so once again, I started right in on this manicure without hitting record. Um, I'm going to cure this nail that I started on, and then I'm going to start talking about what I'm doing. Actually, while that's curing, I'm just going to get right in on it. Um, and I'm going to be perfectly honest and say, I don't really like this manicure. Um, I love the products. I love each and every component on its own, but combined, not what I was going for, not what I wanted. And the length and profile of the nail is too short and too bulky um, for what I generally go for. Now, the length isn't something that I can really control at this point because my nails need to be on the shorter side for my current job. Um, I'll just have to live with it and get do long nails on my vacations. But the manicure that I'd wanted to do was kind of, I'm sure you've seen it around, I've got a random piece of glitter on my nail, um, where it's a French manicure using cat eye gel and you move the pigments in such a way so that it highlights on the smile line. I couldn't get it to work, so I wiped that off. I went in with some Sleepy Time by Light Elegance, um, which I thought was kind of basic. I wanted something a little bit more um, artistic. So then I figured maybe I'd do kind of like a an ombre with uh, chairs from down under, both Light Elegance colors. And I just ended up with so many layers upon layers, um, adding to the bulky nature of the manicure. So I'm going to try to replicate it without the bulk because I want matching hands. What, baby? What? What? I'm right here. Um, but... As I, I'll see how long I live with the manicure. I may be doing a new manicure um, midweek. But the color I'm starting off with also isn't what I thought it was going to be on the website. I thought it was, it's a white lace by Mind and Glam. I didn't know it was a shimmer. I thought it was a semi-transparent, kind of like a milky white. It's kind of got like a pink tint to it. I do absolutely adore this color though. I have it on my toes right now. I got it done for um, my vacation, which I'm sadly back from. But I'm still gonna use this as my base color. And I'm just going to do as thin a layer as possible. On my left hand, I went in and I did two layers. This one, I'm only going to do one. And then I'm going to do I'm going to skip the sleepy time and just do the ombre of down under because I really love that chunky glitter and I think building up the different layers of glitter is just going to make this hand as bulky as the other. I do have a coat of Builder Gel on my nails also, just for some strength, but that's also adding that bulk because it's another layer of thick gel. All right, going to cure that and then we'll go in with the glitter. All right, so I'm going to be using two different brushes, starting out with my flat brush, and I'm going to concentrate the bulk of the color down by the cuticle. And then I'm going to use my ombre brush to drag it towards the free edge.
All right. So I'm going to flash cure that with my pen. just to stop it from moving on the nail, and then I'm going to move on to the rest of the nails. I did today just make another purchase of Light Elegance Colors, which I'm very excited about. It's their candy shop colors, their spring collection, and they have it in three different packages. I was confused at first because two of the packages looked identical and I couldn't figure out for the life of me why one was cheaper than the other and why they were selling two identical collections until I realized that one was Minnie's at I think five milliliter pots and the other was full sized at 17 milliliter pots I want to say so which this is a 17 milliliter pot and I'll probably never use all of it but of course I had to get the full size so those will be coming soon And I also went and got some more dip colors from Vivid Glam Co. And looking forward to doing some videos with those. I already have some manis planned out with those. Hopefully those will go a bit more to plan than this one did. If you can hear the croak in my voice, I'm getting over a cold. All right. I'm going to do one more nail and then I'm going to flash cure these two. I think I actually will be redoing my nails potentially Tuesday because Wednesday is Passover and I'll be with family and I'm just not feeling it. I mean, I'm going to finish it off, see what I, how I feel about it in the next couple of days. Maybe it'll grow on me, but I think I'm going to want something a little bit more basic for the holidays. even though I said that I didn't want basic. We'll see. My moods change daily. All right, so I'm going to finish this off with some base and top coats. I do like the way it looks a bit more than my left hand. I am planning to take down the profile of my pointer finger on my left hand just a tad because I did get some pooling on the sides, which I think is adding to my feeling of um, discontent with my nail. But uh, yeah, this hand definitely took me a lot less time than my left hand did. 
still have that random piece of green glitter on my thumb. I was playing around with some Myth Milo cake gels, which is how that happened. All right, do a flashy flash again so I can move on to my other fingers. I'm just putting some extra um, base coat around the apex area because I do have some leveling issues since I didn't blend the glitter with another color. And then I'm going to go in and file to make sure that the leveling is smooth. holding my hand upside down so all the gel pools towards the apex. All right, well, this is a travesty of a manicure. I don't like it at all. I will probably be removing it tomorrow or the next day. Um, I went a little too hard with filing on my right hand and cut through the base color. So now I've got transparency um, holes in my tips. I mean, the nail's not cut through, just the color. So you can see through the nail and it looks, it just looks bad, 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 bad. So, if you're seeing this, I decided to post it. If you don't see it, I didn't post it. But if I do post it, all the products that I use will be in the description box below because while I don't like what I did with them, I absolutely love the products themselves and they are worth talking about. 
Um, if you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. All right, so never, ever, ever done this before, but I absolutely hated that manicure. Um, I haven't decided yet whether this is going to be a new video or attached to the end of the other manicure video, but if it's, if it's a new video, hi, how are you? Welcome, Nails by Sora. I just did a manicure that I absolutely hated. It took me two hours to do it. I used half a dozen different products. Loved the products, hated the manicure. So I took it all off and I started from scratch. Um, I'm using one of the new colors that I got. Um, it's F-Gel and the color is Sage. I don't remember if that's the actual name of the color. Um, the, the bottles don't have that on it in English. Everything's, it's a Korean brand, so everything's in Korean. Uh, but it is number 110, and I will put the information down below. It's absolutely one of my favorite colors. And I decided just to add a little gold heart accent with the dotting tool, which I will show you how I did it once I get back to it. But right now, I'm just putting, and I'm going to clean up the edges. I really did a rush job on this. It's not up to my standards, but it is 1.30 in the morning. I've now been up for almost 24 hours. With work and everything, I can't believe I'm still awake and doing this, but yeah, that's where I am right now. So I'm going to go on and finish base coating my nails. I'm going to put on two coats of color. I am aware that I still have glitter on my nails from the last manicure, but that's okay. This is a really opaque color and it's going to cover it nicely. I did forget to clean up the dust from filing on the cuticles of my left hand um so hopefully i won't have any issues with lifting i did make sure that i went and cleaned my cuticles properly before starting my right hand so there shouldn't be any problems other than wayward glitter meow meow All right, so this polish, I haven't really used from the nail all that much. I had one color before I went and purchased this set that I got. It's not a set, it's just a collection of colors that I found through the website. Um, the consistency is quite a bit thicker than what I'm used to, but it goes on very smoothly. Um, there is a bit of streaking initially, but if you give it a moment, it will level out. Um, one thing that I was aware of but forgot until I was doing this manicure is that from the nail dries without a tacky layer, which I've never experienced with gel colors before. Obviously, you can get no wipe top coats that dry without the inhibition layer, but I've never known gel colors to do that because generally speaking, you need that tacky layer to build upon. But Jap Korean gels, I believe, and Japanese gels are known for not having that inhibition layer. It's not needed with their products. So we'll see how things go. I will be doing a base coat and a top coat on top of the color to seal everything in. And when I used Fiote in my last manicure, I didn't have any problems with lifting. So thumbs up for that. And hopefully things will continue to progress well with this second manicure that I'm doing in one night. We shall see.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in <coughs> with my small dotting tool. I'm gonna pick up inside, outside, outside. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of gel paint and I'm going to do two dots next to each other. Then I'm just going to drag the gel paint towards the center to create the point of the heart. Bring it together a little bit more up at the top. And that's your heart. I'm gonna do another one on this finger. And that is all the artwork I have the energy for today. All right, guys, I am officially done in so many ways. Um, I hope you found this video entertaining, if nothing else. I'm just going to finish up with some cuticle oil, spend a little time with my cats that I've been neglecting tonight, and get some sleep because I have a day off tomorrow, and I'm very excited for it. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, if you want to offer your moral support, I would appreciate it. Please give me a like, even if you hated this video. If you're still here, give me a like, I would appreciate it. Hit that notification bell, well, subscribe first, then hit that notification bell so that you always know when new videos are available. I'm going to get this little piece of gel off of my finger and... That's going to be my night. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed this long, thank you so much. Put an emoji in, any emoji you want. Doesn't matter to me. Um, and I will see you in the next video.